the mind is far more susceptible to damage than previously believed. Stress is power conferred upon something, and when that power exceeds a certain level, the something will break down. At her lab in Hebrew University's Edmund and Lily Safra Center for Brain Sciences, Professor Hermona Sarek is proving just how permanent that damage is. There's a major difference between our brain and other tissues in our body. So muscle cells can be replaced. Blood cells are replaced on a daily basis. But the nerve cells we have in our brain, that's what we got born with. And that's, that's it for the rest of our lives. We have examined recently what happens to a young mouse, seven days old, when it's stressed. And a mouse that has been subjected to that type of stress will be an underdog forever. It's no secret that stress is bad for health, but what Professor Surak has discovered is that it alters the physical brain, sometimes permanently. Cells that would send two processes out of the cell body would now change to send many short ones rather than two long ones. The cells even change their position. What happens to the genes expressed in these cells? We analyzed those genes and we found genes that are modified. Sorek studies epigenetics, a relatively new field of research that shows our genes can be changed by our surroundings and then passed on. These epigenetic changes may be seen not only in the affected individual, but also one and two and even three generations down below, which means that grandchildren of Holocaust survivors, for example, might bear the consequences of their grandparents' exposure to such stressful situations. Nimrod Madrer studies under Professor Sarek, and they are showing that these physical stress reactions can actually cause degenerative brain disease. What you see here are actually termed stress granules. They are granules that formed in the cells in reaction to, to oxidative stress and to different other kinds of stresses. They're supposed to be formed upon stress, deal with the stress, and then vanish. When they fail to vanish, you get diseases. When they accumulate over time without being uh, removed from the cells. Um, this is when you get damage, permanent damage. What we see is that the network of nerve cells in the mammalian brain is much more flexible than we anticipated before and that young mammals are particularly susceptible to stressful experiences so that we, we need to pay special effort to avoid stress being inflicted on, on the young ones because it's much more dangerous to them. So not only do the effects of stress accumulate forever, they can then pass to future generations. Can Surex research find a way to break the cycle?